One of my pet peeves is trying to wire up a surround sound receiver with short speaker wires. I hate short speaker wires. Number one, it's really hard to wire up your receiver when the wires are too short. And once you miraculously get it wired up, every time you move the, re the receiver, the stinking things fall out. So I'm gonna show you guys how to extend speaker cables. First of all, most speaker cables are 16 gauge. Um, you'll run into some that are 14 gauge. Larger speakers will sometimes be 14 gauge. Most are 16 gauge. So uh, we're gonna go over that right now. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the shortest one right here. Let's get going. I'm gonna cut off the bad end first. I can start with fresh copper. Here's my new speaker cable. This speaker cable is unique in that it has a string. So I just gave the jacket a light score. There's a string here, pull the string. The idea is that when you score the jacket, you might score the cable. We don't want that. So you pull the string to reveal fresh unscored wire. Cut off all the nonsense. Cut off that bad part. Boom, and now I've got some fresh copper. So when you're doing speaker cable, speaker cables are stranded. When you splice stranded cable, you don't use wire nuts. You have to use crimps. Wire nuts don't hold, they'll come off. So I've got to strip this much and I'm using the appropriate size crimp for 16 gauge, which is red in this case. And then I have an insulated connector. So I'm using my insulated crimp. And you just crimp that dude on there, super easy. Bam, come over here, strip off some wire. I'm stripping off about a quarter inch. Splice that on, black to black, red to red. Then when you're done, go ahead and give them a little tug. <clears throat> nice and secure connection. Boom. Love it. 